Hey Warriors, welcome back. Today we have this wonderful mid-century modern chest that we're going to be doing a makeover on. It's the matchy-matchy to the nightstand that we did last week. To get things started, we're going to remove all the hardware. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to label the back of each drawer so we know what position they go in. Some of them are usually pretty obvious, but we try to label the drawers uh, because on some of this older furniture, they'll only fit properly in their original spot. So good idea to always label the drawers so you get them back where they belong. So we want to determine the best way to remove the finish on this chest of drawers. So we are going to put a little stripper on one corner and test that and then we're also going to sand another corner and try to determine what the best way to remove this stain will be. Well, we've determined that sanding is gonna be the way to go in order to remove this finish. As we sanded and inspected and took a close look at this chest of drawers, we did realize that just like the nightstand last week that we did, there were a lot of places on the drawer fronts and on the sides and a few other places where the laminate had already been blown through from previous sanding. There is some evidence on this unit that it at one time was probably painted white and then it was uh, sanded down, removed, and restained. So it's probably already gone through at least a couple of sandings. So we will have to deal with that the best we can. And we'll do what we can to make this match our nightstand that we did last week. Cindy's going to do a little bit of sanding. This is one of the bottom three drawers that go in the cabinet. And we have an issue just with this one drawer on this side right here. And we're not sure if that's just the way the stain took when they did this or if they blew through the veneer on the drawer.
Okay. We're going to start uh, taping off so we can start our painting. Um, thought I'd mention this. You guys probably saw me using this on the um, sanding discs on the orbital. It cleans off the sandpaper so you can keep using it and increases the longevity of your sanding discs. This is called an abrasive uh, belt sanding. An abrasive belt sanding cleaner. <laughs> anyway, um, basically you just, when your disc is spinning, you just put it on there and it, it takes all the junk and cleans out all the spaces in your sandpaper. So it kind of rejuvenates it and it lets you use your sandpaper until the grit is actually to the point of worn out. Um, instead of uh, just clogging it up and you can't use it because it's clogged, this will clean it out so you can keep using it. Um, I put a link in the description to where you can get one of these on eBay. Um, just so you know, I think they're around 10 or $15. But this one here I've had for, I think, a year. And you can see it's barely even doing anything. It's not like it just disappears on you. Um, this thing will last you a long, long time. It's not like when you hit it with the sandpaper, like it just goes away real quick. Um, it's It takes a lot to wear these things down, and I've been using this one for a long time. So anyway, so that's what that is. I just thought you guys would like to know. We're going to go ahead and start taping so we can start uh, getting some paint on this. Just want to jump in here real quick and explain what we're going to be doing so that we don't confuse everybody. Springtime is coming and we're looking at reorganizing our stock area and everything that we have and we're trying to use up all of the little bits and pieces of paint that we have. So we are low on our uh, rethunk junk from Laura on our midnight color. So what we're doing here is we're using the Dixie Bell caviar as a base coat to get a good base coat down in black. And then we're gonna be doing our second coat with the Rethunk Junk by Laura in Midnight so that it matches the nightstand. So just so you know why we're using two different paints, we're just using up what little we have of each paint so that we can start restocking with brand new fresh paints. Okay, so while we were painting, we realized that we had a small repair that we forgot to do. So, went ahead and painted it, and we're gonna go ahead and fix that up, and then we'll smooth it out before we do our second coat. Hey, we wanted to thank all of you guys, all everybody that's watching our videos and subscribing and 
liking our videos and certainly we appreciate everybody who's sent us things from our Amazon wish list and also everybody who has uh, supported our channel through the buy me a coffee and as you may know everything that we're getting in from buy me a coffee we're putting toward a furniture refinishing kit and I think we're well over $500 at this point so things are looking good and these are all the people who have helped us out with that and we'd like to thank you certainly appreciate it and while you're at it certainly be a help if you hit that like button for us if you like our content hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos so this is going to be way too much but that's okay so we're just going to fill this in and we'll come back and sand this down Okay, we'll let that dry and then we'll sand it down. This is a 320 sandpaper wrapped around a lock just to make it easier and I'm just gonna go across and hit it. No pressure. Yeah, okay, I just. Okay, well, that's gonna make interesting video. Corey's <laughs> still working. Yeah, it's still going. Didn't miss a beat. Even though we skipped a beat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't catch it. Okay. Good video. <laughs> okay, here we are. Always something. <laughs>
Oh man. What? Crowd. <laughs> you got enough. You're not. Crowd, <laughs> <Proud of me. laughs> Sorry. I don't believe it. <laughs> you don't believe it. I do not. You tell fibs. <laughs> Okay. Can you see in there? It's empty. <laughs> Are you ready? You're ready. Take off some take time. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, so today we're going to be putting top coat on the wood that's not painted. We're gonna use the Minwax Wipe On Poly. And the way we like to use it, <laughs> probably need a screwdriver to get, get it that out open. Of the can first. <laughs> Okay, so the way we like to use it is to pour it into a dish. That's probably gonna be good. And then dip our dip our towel into the wipe on poly and get it pretty saturated. And then you just go with the grain of the wood. Look how it changes that wood. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. And you just go with the grain. Okay, so if you saw earlier, I was using a pick in here to get white paint out of here, and you can see there's still some, like right there. So we're using one of our little brush tip markers. It's a very fine tip. This is for Mohawk. And we're just going in here and touching that up so that the white is not so obvious. Like so.
Okay, so we're finally down to hardware. So we're gonna get our hardware on. You just unplugged the light. <laughs> you had a really bad cameraman. Bad cameraman. <laughs> There you go. Okay, so we'll finish. We'll try to finish. We'll finish getting the hardware on. And as we do that, whoops. Let's give you a look at what we started with. And then We'll get everything inside and we'll show you the final reveal. And here's the chest of drawers sitting next to the nightstand that we did last week. And we have a question for you. On the nightstand, should the drawer be painted black or should it be left the way it is? Let us know what you think in the comments. And as always, have a flippin' awesome day.